the hosting of our veterans. <laughs> now, this was interesting. <laughs> The military union market is composed of more than 14,000 annual reunions. <laughs> Hospitality industry spends a, a hundred million dollars on these reunions. Yes. <laughs> Could you go through the military um, <laughs> and find all of those that are alive that have been active duty before? Yes. <laughs> that they go to these reunions. Now, I know that I mentioned the attorneys in the United States military. Which, you know, when you allow for the forging uh -huh, of court documents and any other document, traffic citations, yes, check receipts, ouch, mm -hmm, uh, you have some liability as a United States military. <laughs> now, I know what I wanted. I wanted the attorneys mm -hmm, because they have some liability, ouch. For allowing for criminal solicitation because of this family's way of handling problems. <laughs> now, let's say I went through all of those that have been in the military. Yes, there are some individuals that are actually legally liable. Or, um, United States military. <laughs> what makes you think that the military, yes, uh, the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, and National Guard, yes, can allow for any city, county, or state mm -hmm, to refuse to enforce uh, the requirements to issue documents. Mm -hmm. Now, I know the states originate their authority, yes, from the United States federal government, yes, and then the military originates its authority from what? I know. Why? Yes. Is the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, and National Guard refusing to enforce the laws of the United States? Is there some reason mm -hmm, that somebody in the military thinks it okay? Yes. That I have the legal right to sue for the unincorporation of any municipality in this nation. <laughs> now, I have made mention, but let's just look at it a little different. Yes. The United States military is very complicit in uh -huh, giving aid to and abetting oh, those that issue forged documents, yes, from municipalities of this nation. Now, why would that be legal uh -huh, for the military to allow this to happen? Well, what's your liability for allowing for, yes, me as a citizen, yes, to have the legal right to sue for the unincorporation of any municipality. What is the legal right? Oh, is there is there somebody in the Department of Defense, generals and admirals, ooch, that don't feel a certain amount of liability for allowing for the unincorporating of any municipality? Yes, because um, you just don't want to prosecute for forged document. Mm -hmm. Forged document. Forged document. Mm -hmm. You just don't want to involve yourselves, yes, in the enforcement of the laws of the United States because of a forged document. Mm -hmm. Forged document. Yeah, forged document. Mm -hmm. Is it not military law? Mm -hmm. Let's say that you're in the military and I told you about the protections of military law. Yes. Let's say you didn't have those. <clears throat> what would cause the United States military to not have the protections of... How do you lose the protections of military law? Hmm. Now, it could be well, some soldiers mm -hmm. and uh, some sailors. Yeah. Better find out the answer to that question because my thought is, yes, I could hold the United States military liable, yes, for municipalities losing their incorporation because right now. Now, what's the liability uh -huh, to the United States military, yes, if they lose the protections? <laughs>